All right, now before I get into this, I need to make a very important disclaimer. The views that I'm about to express in this video do not reflect any of the black influencers that I'm connected with, anybody that I met. I can't speak highly enough about people like Justin Wilson, Anthony Brian Logan, Uber Guy. These are some really honest, genuine people that I've built a connection with. This has nothing to do with the speakers of Black Leadership Summit or Black the Black Leadership Summit itself. This is not an attack on Candace Owens. This is not a video that I'm making to smear and libel Turning Point USA. Everybody has their own experience, their own points of view, and I respect their point of view. I'm just giving you my point of view. Now that I got that out of the way, I will never attend another Turning Point USA event again. First and foremost, as I mentioned in the previous video, I did not get into the White House. The rejection I got did not come from the White House. It came directly from Turning Point. And it was just some staff member. It wasn't an email. It wasn't anything formal. It was just someone calling me this year and emailing me last year saying I didn't pass security clearance. Why wouldn't that come from the White House? If the invite came from whitehouse.gov, the rejection should come from whitehouse.gov. I don't know if that's exactly how it works, but I'm willing to bet if I had planned this trip on my own, let's say that I was running things, I would probably get a rejection in a formal sense, just like you would if you didn't get a job. You would either get a formal phone call from the company or an email from the company, not some random person who's part of a third party telling you, you didn't get in for this reason and we can't tell you why. When I called the number at the bottom of the initial White House invite, option number three was customer service basically for the Black Leadership Summit. And I spoke to someone on the phone who said, you're that guy that's been calling nonstop. We told you you can't get in. What's the problem? What don't you understand? The way that she treated me sounded like she was working for Turning Point USA because I've had experiences with some of their staff that come off a little snippy, kind of rude, a little pretentious. I can't prove that this person works for Turning Point, but calling the White House number and then getting an option three, which was probably added on for specifically this event means I probably talked to someone who worked directly for Turning Point. And the person sounded like she got me confused with somebody else because she said, Charlie Kirk himself told me that I couldn't make it. First of all, I called one time. Second of all, don't I have a right to know why I was denied access to the White House? And number three, she lied and said that Charlie Kirk himself told me multiple times that I wasn't getting in. I never talked to Charlie Kirk. I didn't even see Charlie Kirk other than when he was up on stage. The truth is stranger than fiction. Think about Kim Kardashian. She went and talked to the president and got a felon released from prison early. Alice Johnson, not to mention, Alice Johnson got into the White House. So you're telling me Kim Kardashian can get a felon released from prison after talking to the president but Charlie Kirk and Turning Point USA couldn't get me into the White House? That makes me feel even more like I was rejected by Turning Point USA. The fact that I was treated that way by their staff tells me they didn't care. And the proof is all out there. It's not like they have a squeaky clean reputation. Some people won't even attend Turning Point events because of their rocky reputation. There were certain attendees from last year that didn't come this year. And I'm not saying that they didn't attend because they feel slighted or jaded by TPUSA. There could have been any number of reasons why people weren't there, but you have to wonder. There was no Amazing Lucas, Leo Dunson, Will Johnson. Turning Point USA just seems a little bit too corporate. I think they're very agenda driven. It doesn't feel like a grassroots organization to me. Matter of fact, I know it's not. That's on record. They fired people for appearing in photos with white nationalists, which tells me they don't truly stand for freedom of speech. They banned Hotep Jesus. They denied me access to the White House twice without any explanation. The fact of the matter is there's too much smoke for there to be no fire. I'm not even the fifth person to highlight any of this stuff. Again, this has nothing to do with the Black Leadership Summit. I think the Black Leadership Summit is productive. I think it's positive. I think it's helpful, but not under the turning point umbrella. It is what it is. I will not be attending another Turning Point USA event. Not after the past two years and the way I was treated this past time. But you know, it's all good. I'm not bitter. I'm better. God doesn't make mistakes. He granted me the wisdom of discernment. 
and something just didn't sit right with me from the beginning with this organization. And now I have the proof, two years worth of proof. When they banned Hotep Jesus last year, that was the first sign. The second sign is when there was a noticeable drop off from black influencers. And like I said, there could be any number of reasons why they weren't there. But then the message that promotes the left-right polarization, basically propping up Republicans, like Republicans aren't part of the problem. They don't stand for freedom of speech. They're driven by donor dollars. I don't believe Charlie Kirk calls the shots. Imagine a black leadership summit if it was truly not controlled by turning point. Would Hotep Jesus have been banned? Would I have been rejected from the White House? Would they have fought to get me into the White House? As opposed to just saying, sorry, you were rejected. We're not telling you why. And oh, by the way, we're going to charge you $250 if you don't attend the rest of the events. Would those things still have happened? Who knows? But all I know is I will never again attend a Turning Point USA event.